with the video that I told y'all a year ago that I would make, and I am so sorry about the glamour magic and the color magic with makeup and all that. Um, Nikki honestly just forgot. <laughs> so, we're here. Um, this can be applied to outfits, home decor, anything really. Candles even to an extent. Um, because color magic is color magic wherever you apply it. Um, I mean, I use this for my nails, my makeup, my outfits, my home, all of that. Um, I do not charge my beauty tools. Like, you'll see on TikTok and a lot of stuff, like, people will put their beauty tools on an altar. I don't do that. I wear my perfumes, my oils, I, you know pray over everything, but I actually put the energy into the glamour magic when I'm doing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's just my advice, because I would rather do that when I'm actually applying my makeup, as opposed to putting it on an altar once every six months. That's just me. Um, literally, beauty is a ritual. Beauty is very magical. Um, it's very powerful, and you can do it the right way, like, girl, I have so many aesthetics that sometimes I don't even know what to do with myself. Um, red, because I'm going to do the rainbow, I guess, red, obviously, attracting. So, if I want someone to listen to what I'm saying, I'm going to wear a red lip. And when I'm putting the lipstick on, I'm, and I'm giving all secrets, okay? So, just saying. And this is tried and true. Um, I'm going to wear a red lip. And when I'm putting the lipstick on, I'm going to pray over it, put my intention into it. For me, if it's in like a business setting or something, you know, professional or innocent, then I will wear like a bright red lip. Um, if it's like romantic or something, then I'm gonna go for blood red because that's how Nikki is. Like red is that color that gets people's attention. It's the color of blood. So people literally can't even help it. If you're wearing red, you will get noticed. Um, I like the Damn it, what's it called? I think it's by Kat Von D. I forgot. But basically, the deeper the red, the better if you're going for a seductive energy. If you're just being playful or it's in a professional setting, wear like a more summery red, I guess. And guys love red lipstick, okay? Ask me how I know. Um red nails there was a whole thing on tiktok about the red nail theory or something and that works too um if i need to tap into that energy of jezebel i will because there is a time and a place for that energy and it works my nails are like pink right now but i love red nails i love red anything basically like today this is what i'm wearing right just a jean jacket ponytail hoops whatever but look at my bag girl hold on isn't it cute i love clutches but and i have a bunch of red handbags too and it just spices up your outfit it's good for money magic to so have a red wallet and enchant it. Um, I use red candles a lot, honestly. For like love, money, attraction, power, dominance, seduction, all of that. So red is like my favorite color when it comes to beauty magic, besides pink. But red is like fiery, get things done. <sighs> Um, 
orange sacral chakra. So I have a bunch of orange bikinis that I love because it really boosts your confidence. And I wear copper makeup like on my eyelids because I'm not going to wear an orange eyeshadow. Okay, I'm just not. I might wear a tiny bit in the crease or something, but Nikki is not that daring to wear orange eyeshadow. If you are, props to you. Um, but I definitely intertwine it in my makeup to bring that warm energy with my contour, my eyeshadow. I don't really wear orange colored lip. I don't like looking like I ate an orange popsicle or creamsicle, but that's just me. Um, carnelian. Carnelian is super good. Like, when I was on a cruise, I wore my orange bikini and my carnelian jewelry, and I felt like a million bucks. Because my sacral chakra was on point. Um, yellow. Y'all know yellow is my happy color. I love yellow so much. Like, actually, this is for... Aguas Dulces, so it's for Anaisa and Mama Chola, that whole energy. Mostly Chola, but, you know. Um, yeah, I'll wear a yellow head wrap. And the thing about wearing yellow, especially like on your face and your head and stuff, is you're going to brighten the room. You're going to lift the spirits of the people around you, too. Um, wearing a yellow head wrap always makes me happy and always boosts my mood. Um, I do wear gold eyeshadow and gold jewelry is the only jewelry that I wear, obviously. Um, money, magic, attraction, success, all of that. Um, even your highlight, like, this one is more like iridescent, but I love gold highlight. It really draws energy and attention to you. Um, your solar plexus is where our confidence is. So citrine is really good for waist beads. Um, I get yellow nails sometimes. Not too often. Because I just, I'm getting older and basic. I will wear yellow on my toes though. That's one of my favorite, like. Normally it's white, of course, but if I really want some good things and sweet things to come into my path, I will wear yellow on my toes. And it looks cute. Just not like neon yellow. I hate that shit. Like, you know, subtle, playful yellow. And it always makes you look prettier too. I don't know why. It just does. Um, green. I have green eyes, so I don't really wear that much green, because I feel like it looks weird on me. Um, I will wear like a dark green smoky eye for money, but if I'm going to wear green, it's going to be jewelry, like adventuring or jade. Um, I do not mess with Moldavite. Mm -mm. You can miss me with that chaotic energy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's all in the name of good, but no thanks. Um, Y'all, I have not been in school for so long that I can't remember the order of the rainbow. Blue? Okay. Blue is good for emotions and communication. Um, it's really easy to tap into the ocean energy when you're wearing blue um if you know that you're gonna have a hard emotional conversation and you need a little bit of like support wear blue a lot of ancestors and motherly spirits like blue so you can kind of give that homage to them um i like wearing blue head wraps i have so many of them um I love a blue smoky eye because me I play up my eyes I love my lips too but my eyes are like my main thing so when I know I'm gonna talk to somebody and I have a specific goal in mind I'm gonna 
you know, make my eyes according to what I need and want from that person. So if it's like seduction, then I'll wear a very dark, smoky eye. If it's light and playful, I'll wear pink. If it's dominating, I'll wear purple, all that. Um, violet, purple, I wear purple lipstick a lot for domination. Um, I just honestly feel like Mama Majit when I wear purple lipstick because she loves it. And every time I see her, she's always got purple lipstick on. So that's kind of my attribution to her, to my getting. And purple is very high frequency. And it's very royal and dominating. So it's going to give you that confidence boost. Um, you want to make some things happen with your hands, get purple nails. If you really want someone to like stare into your eyes and you have that subtle domination over them, purple eyeshadow. You're welcome. Um, I like combining purple and black because I'm very dark, so it works. Um, that's like the rainbow, I guess. And this is like a rundown, okay? Like, this is so much deeper than orange means this, pink means that, but if I really went into it, like, we would be here all night, and Nikki does not have time. Nikki is going out. Well, I might have to do something tonight. I don't know. Um, black. With Glamour Magic, I honestly don't use black that much. I love wearing black. I wear it like 90% of the time, but it's kind of hit or miss because you have to know who you're going to be around because some people, if you're wearing all black, it's going to push them away. Me, I don't mind. I think it's hot. But some people, subconsciously, they're kind of going to be like, Ugh, and it might repel them a little bit. Um, black also absorbs a lot. So you have to be careful. Um, white, when I need to like come back into balance, if I've been very moody and dark, I will wear as much white and cream and ivory as I possibly can. And it kind of helps balance me back out. Um, I wear white on my toes, obviously, but there's a symbolic reason behind that too to keep your path pure and open. It's not just me being basic. I'm, I'm telling y'all, everything that Nikki wears has a reason, sometimes. Um, it's fun to just play around, honestly, with it. What else, what else? I wish I was like a just makeup fanatic and I would wear all these crazy colors and y'all might get a better idea then but honestly that's not me like the craziest my makeup gets is I will look like a dominatrix black lipstick black eyeshadow leather pants heels craziness and because I don't dress like that hardly ever it always catches people off guard and I always get what I'm trying to get in that situation. Always. I will do that. If I'm with a man and I feel like he's trying to kind of pull a power trip on me, I will wear all black. And the black lipstick gets them every single time. With a blonde wig? Girl. And I don't mind telling y'all that because I don't meet people from online especially guys, so if I meet someone in person, he's not going to see this video. Nikki does not do Tinder or online dating or any of that crap. Actually, I'm not dating anybody right now for a while. I'm just focusing on me. As cliche as that sounds, and I'm having the time of my fucking life. <laughs> um, ponytails, so I actually love these ponytails that I've been wearing lately because it is so easy and it it just 
outdoes your whole look. And it adds that bit of like confidence and fanciness a little bit that you might want. Um, what else? What else? There's just so much. Like, I'm going through my closet in my head right now, and there's so much stuff. Your spirit guides also sometimes they will have an influence on how you dress. I have a picture, I'll post it in a little while, from like three years ago. Y'all, my gypsy was all over me that day. And I, this was before I was doing a lot of work with my, you know, gypsy ancestors. I was just starting and I thought, oh, I just put this outfit together. Cause I was wearing a red head wrap, like a white peasant top, a black corset belt, and a long red skirt. I looked like Esmeralda. And it, to this day, is one of my favorite outfits I have ever worn. I went to the Botanica, I felt so beautiful, I was getting compliments left and right, and lo and behold, it was, it was her influencing me you know because they don't have total control over us or anything like that but the reason that your certain spirit guides and energies walk with you in this lifetime is because in some way your energy resonates with them or else they would not be in your quadra spiritual you know so just go with it when i was doing a lot of work with madragua I was wearing seashells. I had this beautiful seashell necklace. I still have these beautiful long blue and blue and white dresses that I got around that time. I, I mean, I was just covered in my energy. <laughs> um, my dominatrix stuff, of course. That's Hecate. I'm sorry. Hecate is one of the sexiest energies on this earth. And people don't give her credit for that. But when I first really started tapping into her energy, you could tell. And people around me will be like, girl, I see you. Snakes. I actually got this tattoo for her. And my daddy. Um... Same thing with Bridget. Bridget, when I see her, and when other people I've talked to have seen her, she wears like, um, it's like a mix between Victorian clothes and Moulin Rouge. It's a very unique style that she has, like steampunk almost, but obviously from the time period that she's from. Um, I just, my closet is crazy. And that's like the spice of life, honestly. Like just have fun with it. Kind of tap into your different energies that walk with you. For some of y'all, it's like one or two and you have your aesthetic. For me, it's like six or seven. <laughs> Cause I'm literally, I'm not gonna tell y'all how many different people, not people, I am, but Nikki is very multidimensional. I really am. Um, for your hair, I used to wear my hair curly, like mermaid curls and wavy all the time. And ever since I stopped doing that, like, things just aren't the same. I don't know what it is about wavy, like mermaid hair. I guess it's very seductive, but I do recommend it if you like wavy or curly hair. Cause I don't like straight hair that much, honestly, on me. I always like to do something with my hair. Um, I have a bunch of rose quartz around where I do my makeup because rose quartz represents beauty. Um, I have my vanity, it's very Aphrodite inspired. I don't work with her, but I am part Greek, so, you know. 
it's got seashells, pink candles, pink roses, um, pink everything basically. But a lot of seashells and pearls too. And it, it's like a self-love altar and every time I sit down I'm like, oh, like that's my me time. And I definitely recommend doing that if you can, wherever you get ready. Um, I'm sorry, I should have taken notes, but I didn't. Um, just be careful, you know, like, read the room, don't wear a dominatrix and dominating energy pieces and makeup into a business meeting. It might not go too well. You know. Like, you can still have dominant energy in a way that looks soft. You know, you don't have to wear striking royal purple. You can wear lavender or lilac. Um, there's muted tones of red that you can wear that aren't so, like, in your face, but you'll still get that attention. Um, I wear brown if I need to ground myself. I wear gray if I need to calm down, like if I feel like I'm not balanced enough and for some reason I don't want to wear white, I'll wear gray. Um, just play around with it, honestly. It is one of the most exciting things about being a woman. His beauty. I love it. Like, I look like a different person every single day, and it makes me happy. Not because I'm not confident, I just, life is too damn short for someone like me to be the same all the time. So. Yeah. Enchant your perfume. Um... Get Enchanted Perfumes. My Chuparosa Mist is amazing. I am coming out with the Hidana Hips and Lips one very soon. For like seduction and all that yummy stuff that Nikki loves. Um, just make sure that like when you're putting on your lipstick or even your full face of makeup, speak what you want. Like, I'm going to look so pretty. I'm going to feel so pretty. My makeup is going to turn out amazing. My hair is going to turn out amazing. Um, I'm going to be the prettiest one in the room. All that kind of stuff. Just say it out loud. And it works. It might feel weird at first, but... Once you start getting results, you'll be like, oh my god. It's real. So... Yeah, let me know if y'all want any more info on this. Um, sorry if it wasn't super detailed. Like, I'm so used to it by now that it's just part of me and my day. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.